Welcome to No Smoke TV. Today we have a very special guest, super producer, Vinny Ida on the building. How you feeling today, my brother? Man, good, bro. Can't complain, man. Everything good. I see you real good. You in the studio right now, so I know you're making some magic. Yeah, yeah. You know, I love in the studio, man. Really? Yeah. I mean, how much time you spend in the studio a day? Well, man, the studio's in the crib, so I'm in here every day, so I don't even got no, like, set hours, you know? Oh, so that's like that's like the gym to you. Yeah, it's like the gym. It's like, you know, I'm not here just, just to chill. You know what I'm saying? I got to get your mind right. Yeah, all day. So let's get let's get into it. So I see you from the Bronx. How was it like growing up in the Bronx? I mean, shit, well, you know how the Bronx is, man. It's, fun. <laughs> it's very colorful, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, a lot of culture there, man. It, you know, I, I had a good childhood growing up in the Bronx, man. That's, I guess that's where all the hip-hop and everything, you know, got in my blood, man. I, you know I, what, part, what part of the Bronx you from? I'm uptown Bronx, man. White Plains Road area, two thirty third, man. Oh, you right there by the train? Yeah. Yep, right by the train, White Plains and Carpenter. Oh, the, they got some good Jamaican food over there, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's cool. laughs> so, how was you introduced to music at a young age? Growing up in well, the well, I mean, my family always been into music, like you know. I come from like a like a a big church family, so like the music was always around. My cousin is Davey D and Max, so he did a lot of records and Run DMC, Houdini, different rappers coming up. So I was always like around it, you know what I'm saying? So you know, I just took a liking to it, man. You know, I was DJing for a minute. The DJ went, you know, it went cool, but I just wanted to make the beats, you know what I'm saying? And once I was just around it, and I see how he was maneuvering and the response he was getting. I was like, this is what I want to do. You know what I mean? So, you know, that that's all I was doing, man. When I was little, all my Christmas gifts, I wanted a Casio with the sampler. I wanted track <laughs> machines. That's what I want. I didn't really want toys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you I was a DJ. Yeah, I was DJing at first, you know, doing house parties, school parties, different stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then so, I, went, I went to do the production, man. So you, how, what made you come and like into the production side? Well, once I got once I got the first my first drum machine, it was over from then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you know, like the DJ side was cool, but like you know, getting them to play your records like that was different. You know what I'm saying? Like hearing my beat being spent on a record was that's what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? What built? What made you build that confidence though? Because I see a lot of people make beats, but it takes confidence to say I'm gonna do this. What? Like, what made you feel like I, I could do this? Because not everybody try to make beats, but they not good at it. So what made you feel like I have a career in this? Well, I mean, of course, you know, everybody, you know, you go through your ups and downs, like learning and everything. What, me, what really made me want to do this once, I guess, man, you know, once once I had like 10, 10 guys from the, from the hood down in the basement <laughs> rapping, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know... That's it. You know what I'm saying? This is gotcha, what I want gotcha. to do, man. The response is crazy. It got around in the hood, you know, the tapes and everything. So I'm like, yeah, I want to do this right here. Got you, got you. Facts. So, so who was the first major artist you worked with? Well, it gotta be it gotta be the locks. Um it, yeah, it gotta be the locks. They they like the first major, you know, I got my first placement on, you know what I'm saying? You know, the major label. So it gotta be the locks, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was the Street Sweepers record that was off the K Slay album that we did on Sony, so that was my first placement with them. Then after that, we just took off. How, how did you link up with the Locks? Do Super Mario, cause Super Mario, you know, he was with them from Bad Boy days when he was doing promo and everything, and Super was managing, you know, managing me for a little bit. So you know, I, one thing just led to another. We just, you know, kept, you know. Hitting them with beats, and I just, you know, I ended up in house for for D Block. And you've been so doing I, it for a while too. Yeah. Let me. You know, I just gotta open the door real quick. Go ahead, do your thing. Do your thing. I know you're in the got studio, bro. Got you. Got you. Let me just open the door real quick. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> so, how long was you producing for the locks for? I would say since oh seven oh eight. Oh seven oh eight and. Till currently. Till currently. Oh, that's like family. That's family right there. 
Yeah, that's that's definitely the bros. If it, you know, if it wasn't for them and and Mario, you know, it wouldn't be no Vinny Idol, you know. <laughs> it wouldn't be no super producer, mit Vinny Idol. <laughs> <laughs> so, so besides the locks, what other artists have you worked with? Man, I mean, Dipset, G Unit, um, damn it, everybody, man. Every I would say like everybody besides people like Hove and Nas so far. You know what I'm saying? So far, so far. Yeah, so far. So that's off the bucket list, but damn it, everybody, bro. Like you know, I got records. I would be forgetting my, you know, I be forgetting the joints I did with them. So it's like, like a lot, man. You know what I mean? Jim, like I said, shooter. Everybody that's out, I got records for Griselda. Everybody, you know. So you know, I'm just just in the action, baby. That's it. And you, I say you stay clear of the like beefs and stuff. Cause I hear you say you produce for G Unit and the Lock. So when they was going through their thing, you st you didn't get involved with that. Like, well, you know what the bugged out is when when they was going through that. That's when they did the Elephant in the Sand, the G Unit mixtape, and I reached out to the you know to the big bros like, yo, I don't know how my beat got over there, but I got a placement with them, and they was like, yo, just do you know what I'm saying? It's like do what you do, business. You know they know where my heart is at. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like nah, don't do nothing. They was just like, yo, man, get your bread. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Like, get your bread. You know, it's just you know they was like, you know, we ain't gonna stop that. Business is business. You know what I mean? So. That's how I ended up with that. So, you know, it went it went smoothly, but I definitely checked in before, like, yo, <laughs> I don't want to try to think, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I, like, I was gonna say, that's how you know the love is real though, because you know how people are, they could have been spiteful or been petty, like, you know what? We ain't fuck with you no more, but you reached yeah, out. Yeah, that's on both sides. Cause yeah, that's on both sides. Cause even with you know, with them taking a the record over there, 50 of them taking a the record was still was still love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Be showing him because they knew I was D Block because that's what everybody was screaming. Vinny Idol D Block, you know. Everybody know Vinny Idol D Block all day. <laughs> yeah. So, what would you say was your biggest record of all time that elevated your career? That like, wow, like I did this record that elevated your career and put some funds in that account. Well, I, honestly, I mean, it was always funds coming in in the account. Because, yeah, I know that, but like the biggest record. You know what I would say. I gotta say, like until the one recently, it gotta be the Nims Bing Bong. Really? Yeah, because just the response of being in, you know, the social media and everything. Right now, the response is total different from before. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it, it goes different places than records from. You know what I'm saying that I've done before because you know different platforms and just how the social media is moving. So that had. I got to say, that got to be one of the biggest, like, yeah, it probably, yeah, the most momentum I'm, yeah, it was that. Really? And I had records, and I had a lot of records out, but Bing Bong, I would say, it went, it went kind of different, because it went from the Knicks to this, to the Batman, to this, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it reached different avenues, man, and you know what I mean? Shout out to Nims, definitely. And you talking about the new artists? Are you open to working with like artists, like female artists, like Ice Spice and and them? Oh hell yeah, they got they got it in the headlock right now. Sure, man. <laughs> do you reach like out Ice to Spice them? Too. She hard. Do you reach yeah. out? Like, do you reach out to the people with their like, no, uh, projects with them? I I really don't. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I really don't reach out like that too much because, you know, I'm kind of like my sound is kind of boutique. You know what I'm saying? Meaning. It's not like common what's going on. If you listen to the radio, like I'm still doing boom bap. I'm still, but I, I do those records. Don't get it twisted. I still do those records, but I don't. I don't reach out because it's like it, it's kind of like that game right there is kind of real crazy. You know what I'm saying? Why would you say getting that? Records to them. That's getting records to them, man, bro. It's it be it be a little mission. You gotta have the total end. You know what I'm saying? To really get records to artists like that. Now that they hot, that they at, you know, they at a certain level. You know what I'm saying? You got to really have the end to like really be like, yo, listen to this record. Because there's a million records flowing through their ears. Like, there's a million producers now. It's like it, making a record has got easier. So they got records coming through all day. So she'll probably already sitting on 50 records. You know what I'm saying? But still, ain't nothing love like, ain't nothing like showing love to your home base producers, though. 
No, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know, I, I would say that's more on on their side. You know, maybe they need to you know reach back. Got you. I got you. You know, what so I'm hopefully, hopefully somebody see this and follow up. <laughs> I tell you. So I see you. You working on something right now? Any projects I, right now in there? Man, it's a bunch of projects, man. I mean, Locke's doing a new album. P is doing a new album. Nims is finishing the album. Um, Shooter's finishing the album. Uh, me and Benny's about to cook up some more. Um, nice, nice. It's a, it's a few. Trevor Van Poole, my man Conscious. It's a, it's a lot of projects that, that I'm working on that's in the pipeline. My man S. De Niro, that's like my... You know what I'm saying? Like the name, that's that's my, my guy right there. That's my guy. Straight like that. Yeah, yeah. We, we and doing, I, that was a hard record. Yeah, we doing this whole project now. So, we, you know, we setting up the rollout and everything. You know what I'm saying? That project is cool. Got a bunch of features on there, too. You know what I'm saying? I did the whole album. Yeah, I like his know? work. He has a nice flow, bro. He has a nice flow. Yeah, yeah. So we just trying to get him right. But, you know, it's just people like that, man. I'm just, just working. I, I deal with a lot of artists, so I don't want to be forgetting nobody. So I, I tell I, everybody support everything that I do. You know what I'm saying? And I hear Cam is coming out with something. You gonna work with him? I hear Cam is coming out of retirement. Yeah, he's doing Lost Files too, man. It's probably finished already, but I, I, I'm gonna reach out to see if he's done. You know what I'm saying? To send him some joints, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what the sure. Dipset. Dipset is, you know, they on the, they on the roster too. I did the um, Have My Money, Bitch Have My Money single when they first okay. got back together, the reunion song. I did that record too. Oh, you did that? Yeah, have my money. Yeah, that's me singing on the hook too. Bitch, better have my money. That that's that's me. I all even peeped that with you. Yeah, that's me all day. Man. <laughs> I was really proud, but I had, you like, said, I a lot of records. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Casa set that up. Well, Casa. Yeah, I sure. see you working with Casa. I see you doing. Actually, I seen y'all together the other day. Y'all was doing something. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did a little interview for my man Tiger. Yeah, Upper Cup Podcast. But yeah, but yeah, me, me and Costa been working, you know what I'm saying? That's that's family to me, you know? So so he walked that through. Wow. I haven't heard from him in a while. I want to see what he got. Yeah, yeah, he's working. He about to he about to pull back up. Yeah, last time I heard from him was like Purple City Bird Gang. Yeah, he he, he had joints out after that. Vanilla Sky won no, two. Word. He had a few projects, man. No, I know he had a few projects, but like like big record wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, that was the last <laughs> thing. Was that one? That's a fact. But he's so still out there. He's working, man. So what does 2024 hold for you, bro? Man, psh, but good moves, man. Elevation, man. Staying out the way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just that's it. Whatever you know, just that's whatever. The key right there. Couple, take it, B. That's it. That's the key right there. Elevation and staying out the way, man. That's it. You got any yeah. like biography? You know what I'm saying? You you a legend in the, you're a legend in hip hop, bro. You got any like you working on any books or anything? Not yet, B. You know, somebody asked me about that the other day too, man. Like if you ever, you know, I'm I'm definitely I'm gonna start on that, man. I'm gonna write a little book. I'm gonna do a little, you know what I'm saying? You got to, man. Hand. You definitely yeah. are one of the pioneers of hip hop, bro. Definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna get to that, yeah. You know, I'm just still, I'm still in the mission, so you know, I, I'll have more to write soon. You know what I mean? <laughs> the mission, bro. I dig it. I dig it. Don't well, stop. I, I see, I see you cooking up over there, and I see you about to light something nice over there. What you, what you got? What you, <laughs> what you about to light up right now? Man, this is this is Massachusetts, man. This is my man strain, man. You know what I'm saying? Like one of my man strain, and you know. Definitely one of my artists I'm working with too. So he's like, uh, he's heavy on the growth scene legally and everything. So you know, he yeah. brings me flavors. I'm lighting it up. You know, <laughs> I don't know what's the exact name, but you know, I call it Massachusetts. You know what I mean? Right now, this is the I-91 Haze. I-91 Haze. That's what he just, you know. Oh man, I heard. I I haven't heard from Haze since like the '90s, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a fact, yeah, man. He's in the building, you know. So, yeah, you know, so oh, different I see, shit. I see the know? vibes. I see the vibes. I see the vibes. Uh, so well, I'm gonna, the... I'm gonna let you, huh? Yeah, so I'm just in the lab working, man. You know. Yo, I appreciate you stopping by, bro. I had to, you know, I had to step with you, talk to you for a minute. I'm gonna let you get to, I'm gonna get to making work, and um, yeah, man. Until next time. 
Anytime, bro. Whenever, you know. We can definitely do a part two whenever you're ready, bro. Anytime. Yeah, I'm going to wait for um the dip set and a, more, a couple more albums come out, and then we're going to touch base again, man. I appreciate it. Bet. Let's do it. My guy. Yes, sir. Thank you.